Hello and welcome back to Math and Tea, the show where we talk math and drink tea. And today we're getting back into a couple of book reviews. Today we have two books, You Can Count on Monsters and Really Big Numbers, both by Richard Evan Schwartz. Let's get the review part of this review out of the way first. This book is amazing. If you work in mathematics basically at all, I think you'd probably enjoy having a copy of it around. Highly recommend it. On the other hand, this book has a much more specific audience. Uh, I, for example, kind of knew all of the things that were inside this book, and outside of seeing it in a new way, uh, I didn't really get a lot out of it. But I think this book is perfect for the kind of student who is starting to do a lot of math and starting to really enjoy it, and wants to see something that will really challenge their preconceptions. I think this is very good for that. So maybe um, high school student, uh, maybe early undergrad, somewhere around there. So let's get into what the books are actually about. You Can Count on Monsters is really about uh, factoring. In fact, in its simplest form, you could argue that this book is really just the numbers 1 up to 100 and how to factor them. What makes this book so unique is that every number is associated to a monster or a group of monsters depending on how the number factors. So for example, here we have the number 2, illustrated on this side using dots and illustrated over here using a monster, the, um, the 2 monster, I guess. And it continues on. On the next page we have the number 3, illustrated again over here with dots and over here by the 3 monster. But things get interesting when we jump to the number 6. On the left we see the factor tree for 6. 6 is 2 times 3, and it's illustrated in dots as two groupings of 3, the same way we kind of get used to multiplying things when we're young. But on the right now we see a picture that illustrates the 2 monster and the 3 monster combined in some way. And from here things get uh, more and more crazy as we get numbers with larger and larger factor trees. For instance, 24. 2 times 3 times 2 times 2. Hmm. It's illustrated again over here with dots arranged into groups, and it's illustrated over here with uh, three two monsters and one three monster combined in a really kind of abstract sort of fashion. The whole book is like this. Uh, every time you turn a page, it's like you're on a new adventure to see what crazy way those numbers can be combined. In fact, by the time I hit the end of it, I was actually a little sad. I wanted it to keep going and to see more combinations of numbers. I tried to pick a favorite out of here, but there's so many neat things in here that uh, I really couldn't. Although if I have to share one of my favorites, it might be the number 34. But with that, let's move on to book number two. Really Big Numbers is about, um, well, exactly what it says on the tin. It's about really big numbers. And I mean big. To give you some idea of just how big we're talking, it's roughly halfway through the book, right around here, that we hit a Google. That's one followed by a hundred zeros, or ten to the one hundredth, if you like. And for the remaining forty percent or so of the book, the numbers only get bigger. They get so large that they dwarf a Google in the same way that a Google dwarfs um, two. Early on, the numbers are small enough that we can compare them to physical things, uh, distances, amounts of stuff. But by the end of the book, we're firmly in the abstract realm. And if that sounds a bit intense, it's because it really, really is. The introduction to the book even takes pains to say that for a lot of readers, you might not understand everything in the book the first time you go through it. And that's okay. You can come back to the book and reread it and get a little bit more each time you do. That's exactly why I think this book requires a very specific kind of reader, because uh, not everyone wants to do that. They want to get it the first time through. But for the student who is willing to persevere, I think they'll really enjoy this. But uh, that's it for my reviews, because uh, I'm out of tea again. See you next time!